my poems uh, rather than perform them, partly because I'm rubbish at remembering poems, and partly because when Steve asked me to do this, I thought, oh, I love poems. I haven't written any of them for quite a while. Um, I tend to write some about Owls and the Lake District now. Um, so some of these are quite old. I also thought if I read from this book, it looks like I'm reading from my diary, so you can pretend that they're all true. <laughs> like some sort of intimate confession from my soul. But this first one is quite a recent poem, it is a love poem, and it starts off a sort of mobile phone obsession thing that's going to go through the other poems I read. And this one's about texting, and it's called Wink, but Wink spelled semicolon hyphen bracket. <laughs> You send me letters, but never enough. So I count the ones that are missing. You shorten my name a hundred times, and I think it might be affection, or humour, a friendly flirtation with a smile, or just to say you thumb. When you sign yourself with your full name, I think it's too formal. Then the whole of you becomes just one letter, and I feel closer to you then, as though we're familiar now. I sit and wait for the sound of chimes that bring missing wise and old, and convince myself that they mean almost anything or nothing. No winks or waves or touching hair, no sideways giggles or glimpses, just spaces where letters should be for my imagination to fill, and screamfuls of lines to read between, then a count of the letters I'm looking for, just TB and every XX. 